going to start off this uh, this set with a uh, with a Pazencia Bay song, a song I learned from my dad. I've been hearing my dad sing this for a lot of years. He would have gotten it from my great aunt Flora Gambin from Clannis Harbour, Pazencia Bay. It's a song about. Uh, it was written by a fellow named Peter Leonard, who was, uh, you know, while so many other people were uh, either singing or writing songs about these, you know, these tragedies or these these fascinating stories or what have you. Uh, Peter Leonard was the type of fellow to write about an incident that didn't seem song-worthy, but he would make it song-worthy. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of how this one is. It's, uh, it's a song about a skipper's poor day on the water, uh, a very experienced sea captain who made a miscalculation when he was coming into the bay, and uh, Leonard made sure that it was etched in song so he could never ever live it down. <laughs> and uh, I often say this is a sea song where nobody dies. There's five of those. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that's on the new album and it's uh, it's called Jim Harris. Twas in 1934 on the last day light in May. Jim Harris in the Ronald P from St. Karen sailed away. And he sailed away in search of pain Till he came to Paradise Sound Where to his sad and great mistake The Irene he ran down As they lay to their anchor All hands were filled with joy not thinking any accident to them was drawing nigh until the Ronald hove in sight. More joyful did they feel. There were swelling sails and flowing sheets, taking eight knots from the reel. She was like some frightened hand. The white foam cross her face. Neither sheet nor tack now did she slack while entering in this place. And the boats, they were well scattered. For them, there was plenty of room. But she kept too near to the Irene's head and she broke off her jib. And it pierced the Ronald's main soul About three clods from the lee When the main boom left the main mast An awful sight to see And it gave those boys a cruel surprise What to do they did not know So without their skipper's orders their anchor they let go. Jim Harris, he left on the deck, fired down his cap and swore, saying such a tangle now as this I've never seen before. I've been charged of schooners great and small. I've brought them far and near. Even across the broad Atlantic where the storms do rage severe. Now had this been some youngster, what would the people say? For an accident can happen to the best man any day. It's all right when the wheel is going up, when it turns for to go down. Well, you all might meet with the same sad fate as Jim Harris in Paradise Sound. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. There's certain, uh, there's certain nuances in the, in the traditional singing from Newfoundland, as well as in Ireland as well. And the traditions are very linked historically, of course, and uh, certain nuances that might bear a bit of explanation when I'm this far from home. And one of those is the speaking at the end of a traditional song, which is very common uh, for a lot of those older unaccompanied songs. 
that's certainly very common in the way I learned them from, uh, from some of those older singers years ago. I would have heard, heard that often. And uh, Anita Best, I mentioned earlier, a great friend of mine, a great traditional singer, she was telling me one time about the, the, the ancient Greek belief when, the, <clears throat> when it comes to singing, that it was an escape of the soul from the body. That singing would bring your, or uh, speaking the end of the song would bring your soul back before the song came to an end, which is a lovely thought, you know. I think for the older singers back home years ago, it probably had more of a practical application. I think some of those songs, you know, uh, it was their way of kind of saying to their audience, in the case of some of those songs that can be quite long, you know, I'm not going to do any of those 50 verse ballads here today. You know, <laughs> A buddy of mine was teasing me one time. He said, yes, he said, do something where verse 12 comes around. The bloody ship still hasn't left the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> but it was their singer's, the singer's way of saying, you know, thank you for sticking with me. My song is to an end. We're done. 